Mary would have asked you the gloves. The gloves. Wear gloves. So, see, I've got a feeling, I think, mm -hmm. it's because you really deep down want to be a goalkeeper. Oh, so of course you think that. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I haven't told anyone yet what it was, but it's a, it's a bit silly. But I, I honestly just wear gloves because I get really fidgety. So usually I train with a ring on, but if it's cold, I wear gloves and I can't wear a ring in a match. So I usually wear gloves. And that's just because you want to fiddle with I just, your... Yeah, I just move them around a lot. So, yeah. What was it like scoring your first ever goal at a World Cup the other night? Amazing. I was um, I was saying that like the first one, because it got disallowed, like that was the one that I felt like, oh, wow, like I, I got the goal and I felt like really excited, but then like also relieved. But then it got disallowed. And then the second one, I was like, didn't feel any of that because <laughs> I was so awkward. I was like, do I celebrate or not? So it felt it felt great. Was there a moment you thought you may have missed? Yeah. <laughs> After I kicked the ball, I was watching it. I was like, don't go out. And then, yeah, that's why I did a little jog after it. I was like, come on, go in. And it went in. I actually went to the sideline like during the game after I'd scored and me and Sam were joking about it. We like almost missed. <laughs> um, you've got PNG background. There's been quite a lot of support coming out of PNG. I mean, how cool is that first and foremost? You know, you're representing Australia. You've got the support in Australia. You're already inspirational to the new generation, young generation of Australians, but also back in PNG. Yeah, it's amazing. Like my mom is always sending me pictures of um, back in her village there. And it's just, yeah, it's amazing to feel all the love from like relatives and people I don't even know over there. It's just, it's crazy. Like it's just seeing how like sport can bring people together in that way and seeing how much they get behind me, even though I've never met them. Like I, I think it's just beautiful, the love that they give me. Any plans to go and Go and visit the relatives. Oh, I would love to if I can get some time off. <laughs> <laughs> or was it the best moment in your career, scoring at a World Cup? Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say no, just because the Olympics was my dream. You know, I wrote that on paper and I'd said that to so many people. I want to be an Olympian. So for me, it had a lot more emotion attached to it, I'd say. What's your overall feeling been about the, the support and the crowds that have come out and watched the Matildas games and just in yeah. general, the whole tournament? Yeah, I think it's been unbelievable. Like, it's crazy to me to see, like, like just looking up while seeing the anthem and seeing how many people are out there just to support us and to watch us. Like, you really feel like you're representing a nation and you have them all behind um, behind you. So, yeah, I think it's been, it's unreal. You talk about, you wrote it down about wanting to play and, and score a goal at the Olympics. Now you're at a Women's World Cup representing your country. You've scored your first ever goal. And it's been in a really like quick, short period of time that you've gone to this this rise. Do you pinch yourself? Have you had a moment to be thinking through it and wonder how, where and how it all happened so quickly? Yeah. Um, I mean, it does happen quickly. And I feel like the only time I really reflect on it all is when I'm writing it down, um, which I did do before the World Cup began and just wrote down, a, you know, the last five years, pretty much what I'd done just to give myself a bit of perspective on where I'm at. Um, so, yeah, I think I, I I definitely try not to take it for granted, um, but also just show myself that I've had small wins along the way and I'm, I'm on the right track. Um, but, yeah, it, it has all gone quite quickly. And for you, there was, there's been one minor little setback was with missing the second game due to concussion. What was that like first and foremost when you, you, know, you found out you're not able to take part in that game? Yeah. Um, I mean, when I got told the news, I was gutted. Um, but yeah, I'm the type of person that I believe everything happens at its right time. Um, so I think in, in some strange way, I was supposed to get concussed. I was supposed to miss that game. And my role for that match was being there for my teammates um, in a supportive sense and cheering for them. So I think everyone had full trust and belief in, in the squad going out there that day. Um, and yeah, it was just about being ready for that next game. What do you like watching the game rather than playing it? Uh, I get really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I feel like I'm quite loud on the bench and I, I don't know, I just can't control my reactions, but yeah. <laughs> um, what's it been like for you? I mean, obviously it's all well known, Sam's missing because of injury. What's it been like for you to step up and to get that opportunity to play and almost take on a bit of the responsibility of leading the line? Um, yeah, I mean, it has been um, a great opportunity for me to step up a bit more. Um, I think, you know, with the squad that we have, anyone would be ready to, to go out there and, and step up and show what they've got. Um, but yeah, I think 
you know we, we have such a good team and being able to go out there and help my team in any way no matter you know who's on the field with me is, has been a great opportunity looking ahead of the Denmark game how excited are you to come up against Denmark on Monday night really excited you know it's been nice every game you know to go out there and, and be with the the girls um, we just have such a nice group of girls and it's just nice memories to to look back on um, and yeah, we just have good vibes in the team. Everyone's just so supportive of each other and, and just willing to work so hard for one another. Um, and that's what I look forward to the most on the field, you know, just feeling the team together, feeling that chemistry. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that match. Have you seen much of Denmark? What, what have you made of them so far in this tournament? All the teams that are left in the tournament, you know, they're there because they've earned their spot there. And I think we can't underestimate any team. Um, we just have to focus on getting ourselves right, which is what I think um, we've done well so far. What do you like um, in tournaments? Do you sort of sit there and look at the the map of where you could go, who you've got next and what happens beyond this next game? Or are you going to give me the cliche of only look at the next game? Well, I actually do. Like, I don't. I don't look at the route who we could be versing. Like, I literally just wait till someone says, OK, we're versing this team next. Like, I'm, I don't know if I'm just chill about that, but that's how I prefer to do it. Um, and uh, the finally, I want to say, could you look down the camera and say to what would you say to all the people that are going to be in the stadium on Monday night, but and also all the people around Australia who will be supporting the Matildas? Um, I would say that be as loud as you can. I think it helps us so much seeing you all out there, and it means so much to us to feel your support. Um, but yeah, the louder you are, the more it helps us, the more it pumps us up out there. Thank you. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.